Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. We're going to look at what is the difference between what's known as the Byzantine text type and the Alexandrian text type. Now, the first thing you need to realize is no two Greek manuscripts on earth read exactly alike. Now, there is something that the overwhelming majority of text, regardless of language, whether it's Greek or whether it's any of the other several hundred languages that we have ancient manuscripts in, overwhelmingly they read alike. And this would be known as the majority text. Now, of course, von Sodden examined about 421 manuscripts, came up with what he called the majority text. But for this usage, we're just going to say the majority of text, traditional text, Byzantine text, Textus Receptus, there's the, some people call it the Western text, Caesarean text. There are minor differences between all those terms I just used, but for this sake of this video, it's kind of a real uh, basic video, we're going to just kind of lump them all together, the Byzantine text, and say this is the overwhelming number of manuscripts that were used down through the centuries and even the millennia, regardless of language. And then you would have what's known as the Alexandrian text type. Of course, by its very language, these came from Egypt, which is very conducive to preserving manuscripts because of the dryness of the uh, the climate and all of this type thing. But the thing about the Alexandrian text type that's kind of uh, the secret that a lot of people don't like to deal with is that there are monumental, massive changes between each manuscript and what's known as the Alexandrian text type. So really, there's not even a unified Alexandrian text type. It's something, whereas in the Byzantine text, you can tell, even though there's very minor variations, that you can tell what the overwhelming reading is by the thousands of manuscripts. Whereas in the Alexandrian, things like Codex Sinaiticus, found by Tischendorf in a you know, trash can, the monks were using it as it, to burn because they realized the manuscript was so hopefully corrupt. And Codex B, which is Vaticanus, which Erasmus, you know, Bombasius had sent that to Erasmus to use. He said, I'm not using anything that comes from the Vatican, you know. A lot of people think those would be two of Constantine's 50 official manuscripts that he had ordered in vellum and all of this. But there's many thousands of differences, even within the Gospels, between Sinaiticus and Vaticanus, so to speak, between Codex Alexandrius, Alexandrius it, it, which is another very early codex that has been found. And so there's really no Alexandrian text type. It's something that's a chimera that's been created, if you study it. And it's really to go against the traditional text. And it's to sow confusion in this end time hour. And we have to look at it. Um, Satan obviously doesn't like scripture. And so he wants to sow discord among people with this. And he wants to confuse and he wants to weaken it. And so what he does and what he's done here in the end time is to try to say the Bible wasn't dynamic. The Bible wasn't used all around the world. But we're trying to reconstruct what the Bible says, and nobody really knows for sure. And the 29th edition of the Nestle's Island text may be different from the 28th, 27th. We're just looking for other troves of manuscripts and basically ignoring much of what's been done in the past and the manuscripts that have been found in the past. So that's the basic difference is the Byzantine text is the traditional text. The Alexandrian text is a a text in process, a text in flux, a text that is not forever settled, that changes with every little minor uh, discovery that comes around. And I'm not against discoveries, but you have to put them in the context of real Bible understanding and biblical inspiration and this type of thing. So I just pray you'll just keep reading the scriptures in the traditional text in the language that you're acquainted with and uh, I know like in Arabic, the folks at local church Bible publishers have great stuff. And uh, just many, but the French Chagond version, the Russian version, uh, most of those are the Luther version, the German, are going to be traditional text types. 
and uh, over 900 translations done from the King James Version of the Bible by the British Foreign and Bible Society and others. So God bless you. Trinitarian Bible Society has a lot of wonderful resources as well in biblical translations. But God bless you. Let's live for God in this end time hour. In Jesus' name.